morning, it's Patriot Magnus. We're at uh, another location on the Rochdale Canal. We've been here before, um, but on the way down here, we did find floating in the water this. Looks like some car cleaning kit. So, brand new, still got the tag on it. Yeah, brand yeah. new. So, we know we're in a good spot because, like I said, we've been here before. So, let's find more of these treats. Get warm. Yeah. What you got, man? A bullet. A bullet? No way. What mill is it? Oh yes. So guys, unfortunately, I found this off camera. Um, where it's a bullet as you can see um, and it's still live Bolt. Harness for a dog. Oh. Up and down, yeah. It's like it's stuck in something. Oh my god! What is that? Right. You ready? Is it one of them carts? Yeah. Right, where's the other, other grapple? Have you got it there? And pull it up that side. Well, no. One pull it upwards, and then one person down here. There's that grappling hook. Right, where's that? Watch yourself, Stu. Shall I come to you? Right. Hold that. Wood cart. Can you get the grapple hook on that, that, end, on that end? Oh, you want it? Yeah. Funny quad, isn't it? I wish that don't fly off. Hang on, we're gonna we're gonna let ours down a bit, yeah? Need to get it under this, tie it up. Ready? One more. Uh, yeah, get in the back, in the back. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got my axle there, Scott. I'm going to try and get the front up. Right, are you okay with it there? I hold it. Oh, man. Got it secure. Got it secure. Right. Oh, jeez. Hang on, it's stuck. Oh, it's under there, isn't it? Yeah. Right, there it is. Oh, it's 
It's easier the way down, wasn't it? Uh, That's it, that's it man. We'll go that way. One, two, three. Two, three. Then we'll just slide it straight over now. On two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Wow. Look at that. that was heavy. That's a good bracket that for a, a buggy. Three hooks. That's a proper one, that one. Yeah, that's old school, that. Look at that, ladies and gents. Upper old school cart. Yeah, so this, this looks like a prehistoric skateboard. Yes. Yeah, the uh, modern electronic ones. Nice till draw, guys. Obviously empty. Clean. Found a knife. Look how dangerous that one looks. <laughs> nice only par. Stick. An old tape player for a car. An old computer. Yeah, because there's the, the iron sight. Yeah. Nice! Bit yeah. of a sawn off gun. Over, over, over and under, whatever they're called out. Maybe you can see it. I've been hiding around the corner. Set of nail clippers. Screwdriver bits. Screwdriver and a spanner. One huge cock. A chair for a very, very small person. And when I pulled this up, I actually thought it was a magazine um, off like a rifle or something. Unfortunately, it's not, it's just a piece of scrap metal. Shovel, nice bright fishing lure. If I remember rightly, we've had one of these before from the same location. Um, and the what um, kids get sweets and toys out of from outside the shops. Till's 
maybe to that tilt. It's a Rochdale gangster chain. I just found that, if anybody knows where it is. Now it's got rails in the bottom. Another screwdriver, nice solid one. Nice cut throat. What is that? Face mechanism. No. It's off um, like a kid's toy thing, isn't it? like oh, yeah. a bubble gum machine. Cool that. Different. I think you could get on the side of it and it's Yeah, you got a cuff link. Cuff link? Cuff link, yeah. Cool. Oh, look at that. No, I was going to say I thought I might have the other one took it all. Hmm. In the money pocket it goes. And the same plate. Oh yeah, bangle. Look at that. Yeah. Nice bit of jewellery. Um. Alright, that one. It's well there. Yeah. Nice big bar. Got a couple of admirers down there. Yeah. Right, these are a few things that we've brought back. Uh, I'm going to start with this over here actually. I got my grappling up stuck, went on the embankment, and found a dog harness. Cool, that. Nice chain that Mark pulled up with some sort of hook on it, possibly hanging basket. Hook. It does say STA Lock England. Nice little pad like that. So if we can find some information on that, we will. Right. This is what I think Steve pulled up. Now it is a Parker one. Remember these babies um, being left along the roadside. And uh, as kids, we used to uh, get them batteries out and charge things up when they was discarded on the road or thrown in bushes. So yeah, there's one battery there still. Cool them. Who remembers them? Right, we don't know what this is. It's heavy though. All the way through it, a hole. Looks like it does sit on something. And it has got three. Flat screws there. 
you can just see that it's screwed down all the way around flush with that so I ain't got a clue what that is that's got like a little bit of a drill bit thing there and for once it's sunshiny so you know got a bit of glare on there this thing here, I've come across these before but I don't know what they are it's got some little numbers on it and letters but it does have a Ford symbol there if anybody knows what these are let me know please same again with this initials HJS and it has some sort of seal number there and then on here Let's get it the right way up first. It does say Lock Tainer LR2. I've got to get a close up of that and put it here so you can have a look at it. Ooh, I don't know what that is. The only metallic bit is that bit. Washer and bottle cap, the usual. Some sort of on and off system. Lock, unlock. Something for a car. Just say faux mo co. There we go. These are the tools that we got today. This just have something written on there but I can't really see it. I think that says I can't really make out. Mine in electrolysis that. And we have another spanner with Draper 8220 on. And then that's for a screwdriver. And so is that. Spinner. Three sets of keys, not identical because of the in fact they look they look the same. Yeah, and obviously that one's different. But it's got initials E R A on it. On all of them it has. Obviously, with them being the same style, someone's colour coded them. Another key as well. That's got some sort of bird imprint on there, a stalk or something. It says, made in China. Treat yourself. Now, I don't know what this is, possibly off. It's possibly a spring in it, a part of it. Stainless steel, nib off a nice little butter knife. Screwdriver, large one, flat sided. Another flat. Nothing written on these. Um, that's got something written somewhere in here, but I can't really make it out. Uh, yeah, that's been snapped off. So that's probably been used as a key for something, if you know what I mean. A load of pennies. A load of two peas. A load of fives and a load and a ten p. This here is a foreign coin, probably not going to make out with the sun on here, but what I'll do is I'll put a picture of it here and I'll put some description of it and see if I can find out what currency it is. But that was cool, so always check, because that could just be classed as a little 5p, so I'll just throw it away. It's a big cog, different. Hmm. 
this is uh, where you put your money in like a bubble gum machine, tie machine um, other tiler machines if you know what I mean yeah there's the mechanisms people are in there all that cool these two are part of buttons or studs off jeans This was actually a bangle, but it disintegrated when I was cleaning it up. There's another bangle. It's magnetic, obviously, because it came up. Quite sturdy, that as well. Nice cufflink. Mark's found a few of these in a, a similar location close by. So. Oh, interesting. Someone's earring. Right. Steve on finds again. Found this cutthroat razor. It's the first time he's. No, second time he's found a complete one. Is it the first time? I don't know. Lose count with Steve's finds. There we go, amazing. Well done. Marks on the find as well. This little um, 9mm bullet. Very random. It's just got WC on it. And it has got 42 printed there. But I'll put a, try and put a close up picture at the end so you can have a look at this. Bucket list. There we go. Everybody wants to find one of these, and Steve has found one. It's a part of a sawn off. Yeah, the barrel part of the sawn off shotgun. There we go. There's the iron sight. So you will be looking at it that way. There we go. So it ain't the usual side by side one. That's all rigid along there. Are you aiming down, obviously? Smart. Well done, Steve. Good find, that, mate. Right, so uh, thank you for everybody that subscribed recently. I've had quite an abundance of them, and I uh, love your comments. Even if you're a bit annoyed about something or you want to ask something, just uh, feel free to comment. So, um, thank you very much. We'll see you shortly. Don't know where, but we'll see you shortly.